And for example, if it maneuvers on October 29th, when it comes closest to the sun, that's the perfect timing for a maneuver the way that our space spacecraft do when it, uh, they come close to the sun, uh, then uh, I think the stock market may crash. There is a growing hesitation within the scientific community to simply label the interstellar visitor 3I Atlas a comet. The term, familiar and comforting, feels woefully inadequate, perhaps even dangerously simplistic for an object that is systematically violating our celestial rulebook. Its behavior is not merely unusual, it is deeply skeptical, displaying a level of violent, unpredictable activity that defies our established models for these icy wanderers from the dark. A typical comet behaves with a certain predictability. As it journeys from the cold outer reaches toward the sun, its ices begin to sublimate, gently releasing gas and dust to form a coma and tail. Its brightening follows a relatively smooth, calculable curve. 3I Atlas has scorned this playbook. Its explosive, six-fold surge in luminosity was not a gentle awakening, but a violent jolt, a convulsive outburst so extreme it suggests a far more energetic and chaotic process is raging deep within its core. This isn't the quiet fizz of a warming ice ball. It's a sustained, roaring conflagration. This single, glaring anomaly has forced a deeply unsettling question upon astronomers. Are we watching a comet at all, or is this something else entirely? An entity masquerading in a cometary cloak while driven by forces we do not yet comprehend. This profound mystery has created a palpable tension, a sense that this object represents not just a scientific curiosity, but a core threat to our neatly ordered understanding of the cosmos. Every new stream of data, every fresh image, seems to add another labyrinthine layer to the enigma. The sheer scale of its coma is a prime example. To say it rivals the diameter of Jupiter is a sterile astronomical fact that fails to capture the spectacle. This is a phantom planet being constructed in real time, a tenuous but monolithic atmosphere without world, an incandescent green fever dream being shed into the void. The energy required to power such a phenomenon, to sublimate enough material and push it hundreds of thousands of kilometers into space, is immense, leading to frantic speculation about the state of the nucleus hidden within. Is it a single, monstrously hyperactive body, its surface peeling away in layers? Or has it begun to catastrophically fragment, its core shattering under the alien thermal stresses of our sun, exposing vast virgin surfaces of hyper-volatile ices for the first time in its billion-year existence? We simply do not know. Then there is the matter of its otherworldly chemistry, the very source of its haunting glow. The intense, almost lurid green hue is the spectral fingerprint of diatomic carbon, C2, a common cometary molecule. But its strength in 3I Atlas is an extreme outlier, far more potent than what is observed in the vast majority of solar system comets at a similar distance. This points to a native composition, born in a stellar nursery with a fundamentally different chemical recipe than our own, perhaps one far more rich in complex carbon compounds. Fierce debates are now breaking out in late-night academic forums and peer review threads over the potential contributions of other molecules like ionized carbon monoxide or the cyanogen radical. Different teams using different instruments and calibration scripts are analyzing the spectral data and arriving at conflicting conclusions. This isn't a settled picture. It's an active, high-stakes argument about the fundamental building blocks of this alien messenger. Its very trajectory marks it as an intruder, a transient ghost in our celestial neighborhood 
plunging through our system at a peak velocity projected to reach a blistering 68 kilometers per second. It is moving far too fast to be tamed or captured by our sun's gravity. It is an unbound projectile, and its behavior suggests it is reacting to the environment of our solar system in a way we have never witnessed before. A way that is challenging our most basic assumptions about how these objects are supposed to behave. Adding to the suspense is the potential observation of an even rarer, more perplexing feature, a sunward-pointing anti-tail. This ghostly appendage, a slender spike of dust that seems to defy the fundamental physics of solar radiation pressure, is a true celestial enigma. It runs counter to every textbook diagram, where a comet's tail is invariably pushed away from the sun by the solar wind. The formation of an anti-tail requires a perfect storm of conditions, a specific viewing geometry from our vantage point on Earth, a significant population of large, slow-moving dust grains that can momentarily resist the sun's push, and a high-velocity comet to create the necessary orbital dynamics. The physics at play are a complex, delicate tug-of-war between a dust particle's own considerable momentum and the outward force of solar radiation pressure, a process further complicated by the chaotic electromagnetic forces brewing within the expanding coma. Its potential presence on an interstellar object is nearly unheard of, and hints at a dynamic, electrically charged environment around the nucleus that is far more complex than anticipated. Each of these compounding anomalies, the violent brightening, their gargantuan coma, the intense chemistry, the ghostly anti-tail, paints the picture of an object whose true nature remains frustratingly, tantalizingly veiled. This accumulation of bizarre behaviors has transformed routine scientific curiosity into a tense, high-stakes investigation into a genuine cosmic unknown. This scientific suspense is being cruelly and dramatically amplified by a cosmic deadline. Just as 3i Atlas reaches its most active and scientifically revealing phase, our ability to watch it from Earth is being systematically stripped away. The very mechanics of our solar system, the predictable dance of the planets, are conspiring against us. Each evening, the comet sinks lower toward the western horizon, drawn inexorably closer to the sun's blinding furnace in our sky. The angular separation between them, what astronomers call solar elongation, is shrinking, and by October 21st, it will fall below a critical 30-degree threshold. At that point, the overwhelming brightness of our own star will act as an impenetrable wall of light, rendering even the most powerful ground-based telescopes effectively blind. A complete data blackout is not a possibility, it is an impending certainty. And it will last for weeks. During this period, there will be no direct measurements, no fresh spectra to decode its evolving chemistry, and no way to monitor the dramatic changes in its structure or brightness. We are on the verge of losing our connection to the most mysterious object to enter our solar system in years, precisely at its peak activity. The clock is ticking, and the global astronomical community, from professional observatories running on borrowed time, to dedicated amateur networks coordinating desperate last-ditch global relay races, is in a frantic scramble to capture every last photon before the window slams shut. But hope has not been extinguished, it has simply been outsourced to another world. As Earth's view fades to black, a fleet of robotic explorers currently orbiting Mars will become humanity's last and best hope for unraveling the mystery. For a brief, critical window, the Red Planet will have an unparalleled front-row seat to the encounter. The entire focus of the investigation now shifts to this armada of high-tech orbiters, each a specialist in its own right. The torch is being passed not between continents, but between worlds. The European Space Agency's Mars Express, a veteran observer, stands ready with its high-resolution camera and Omega spectrometer to capture both detailed images and the comet's chemical fingerprints. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter will act as a sensitive nose, exquisitely designed to sniff out the faintest traces of gases, water, carbon dioxide, 
or perhaps the exotic volatiles that could betray the comet's alien origins. NASA's MAVEN, the plasma physicist of the group, can pivot its sophisticated instruments from studying the Martian atmosphere to intercepting the light from the comet's coma, analyzing its composition, and watching in real time as its own plasma environment battles the solar wind. Finally, the Mars Recon Orbiter, the eagle-eyed photographer, with its famously sharp high-rise camera, may even manage to resolve the nucleus itself, the tiny hidden engine driving a spectacular and perplexing outburst. This Martian flyby, scheduled for October 3rd, when 3i Atlas sweeps within a mere 28 million kilometers of the planet, is not just another observation, it is our scientific lifeline. The mission teams on Earth have been working for weeks in a high-pressure environment, running complex simulations, uploading new trajectory files, and negotiating for precious, limited observation time on these multi-billion dollar assets. They aim to gather a comprehensive data set that could finally answer the fundamental questions. Visible and infrared images will map the structure of the chaotic coma, Ultraviolet spectra will measure the production rates of different gases, providing crucial clues to the composition of its alien ices. Plasma data will probe its interaction with the solar wind, revealing how this visitor from another star holds up against the onslaught from our own. Even a handful of successful observation passes from these Martian sentinels could provide the ground truth needed to understand what is truly happening. It is a chance to get direct measurements of dust, gas, and plasma at a scale and proximity impossible from Earth. A chance to finally decide if this is a comet behaving badly or something entirely new to science. To fully appreciate the significance of 3i Atlas, one must place it in the context of its interstellar predecessors, for we have only just begun to catalog the galaxy's nomads. The first, Oumuamua, was a silent ghost, a dry, tumbling, bizarrely shaped rock that betrayed no cometary activity whatsoever. It was an enigma of omission. The second, 2i Borisov, was, by contrast, a comforting cousin. It behaved just like a classic comet from our own solar system, providing a baseline for what an interstellar comet should look like. 3i Atlas fits neither mold. It is the wild card, the anarchist, a hybrid that displays the superficial characteristics of a comet, but has amplified them to an extreme and unpredictable degree. It is forcing a reevaluation of our classification systems and challenging the very assumptions we hold about the formation and evolution of small bodies across the galaxy. After its dramatic and fiery swing around our sun, 3i Atlas will begin its long journey back into the infinite darkness from which it came. It will likely fade much faster than it brightened, its magnificent coma shrinking and dispersing into the void. The observational challenge will grow steeper with each passing day. But the quest for answers will not end when the light fades. The data collected in these frantic weeks especially the priceless information from the Mars flyby, will be scrutinized, debated, and modeled for years, perhaps decades to come. The questions it has raised will echo long after it has vanished. What are the building blocks of planets in other star systems? How diverse are cometary bodies across the galaxy? 3i Atlas, the unpredictable visitor that refused to behave, has offered us a tantalizing, unsettling, and unforgettable glimpse into the vast unknown, leaving a legacy of not simple answers, but of deeper, more profound, and more exciting questions.